All right, today we got the 6BR stainless micrometer bullet seeder. Um, take the contents out of the box. You're going to have the die, the base, and this 332 hex wrench. You're going to want a flathead screwdriver and a caliper or a way to measure your overall round length, however you choose to do that. Um, next thing you want to do is clean out the die, make sure everything's, all the shipping oil is off of it. Um, this portion will slide out. It's called the cap and stem or or drift assembly and uh, you're going to want to take one of your prepared cases drop it in the die make sure it fits nice it goes in easy and you're able to get have it sit flush or below flush um, if it's sitting up here chances are you have an oversized chamber and we need to make some adjustments to your die for you so um, contact us if you need that option the next thing how do you determine and how do you set overall round length? Well, I have a dummy round, I like to do it that way, but refer to your reloading manual to, to figure out what that length should be. Um, you can use a factory round too to get you close and then make adjustments for there. Um, after you do that and you've got that round ready, slide it in the die uh, by putting the die directly over the top of the case on the bullet seeder base, which has a hole to protect you from live primers. And <clears throat> you can see that there's a gap here. That gap controls seating depth. So we want this to match our dummy round. We're gonna loosen this. Adjust the seating stem in here with the flathead screwdriver until it touches, just touches the top of that bullet. Now I'm going to double check that that didn't move. Snug this down, the set screw. And take the dummy round, set it aside. You always want to take your bullet and set it on top of the case, then slide the die over the top. So that helps to align the bullet with the case prior to seating. take a measurement on that it looks like we're at 2.1995 my dummy round is at 2.1990 so I'm only off by half a thousand and I can make that adjustment these indicator lines are one thousandths each so I'm gonna see if I can get that half thousandths out of going between the two lines and we'll try that on this next case if you have any difficulty in the seating process uh, where you're getting rings on the bullet, make sure you run these cases through expanders, um, two thousandths under bullet, something like that, and make sure you have a good chamfer on the inside and outside of the case mount. That will make a huge difference on uh, inline seating dies, and I got my 2.1990, and that's how easy it is to use the Wilson bullet seater with micrometer. Thanks for watching.